Hey everyone, Cliff here from Speed Curve, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of the web vitals that has been eluding us a little bit, which is CLS or cumulative layout shift. Um, just real quickly, we've added uh, two new graphs, one into your synthetic site dashboard that shows you core web vitals, giving you LCP, CLS, as well as total blocking time, uh, as well as in our Lux product, you've got the same dashboard, or sorry, the same view of your web vitals in your performance dashboards as well. And when you jump in here, one of the things that we've made easier for you is once you want to drill into one of these, simply click on the data point. You can go ahead and say view test. This is a function and a feature that's been in the product for a while and hopefully one that you are all using where you can get all this rich data behind your tests. Uh, but in addition to what was already there, we've added a new section uh, for CLS. What you can see here is exactly when those layout shifts are occurring and the impact that it's having on that user experience uh, step by step sequentially. You can see the layout shift score for the individual shift that occurred, uh, essentially when it happens in the page, as well as what that accumulates to as you're progressing and, and calculating that score. So here we can see real big shift uh, at the beginning. We can see smaller shifts that occur that maybe you don't want to focus on as much. You know, one or two pixels of shift or change might not be the biggest thing that you want to address, uh, but those big, large uh, red rectangles and places where we see the elements moving around is obviously where you want to focus. Uh, so as you see that, you can see how the score gets accumulated and where to start. Hopefully this makes your lives a lot easier when you're going about diagnosing CLS and trying to improve those core web vitals. Thanks everybody. Thank you.